Okay, Mark Ferrari has a, has a story, as a Dimebag story, while we're discussing the mortality of men and the immortality of guitars. Because my next book is called Mortal and Immortal Guitars. So I understand you've got a Dimebag Daryl story to tell us. Well, well Whose guitar I, will I be have my more than book? I have more than one story because I started working with Pantera in 1985 when the band came to see a Keel show, and I became a big fan immediately, and I started. Uh, uh, you know, being their, their number one uh, loudspeaker for many, many years. In 1988, they actually recorded a song of mine called Proud to be Loud, which uh, is on their power metal album. Now, that was the last of the, uh, they did four independent albums before they were signed to ATCO. And the last one is called Power Metal. It's the first album they did with Phil. Uh, and so I wrote the song called Proud to be Loud, which originally was done for Keel. Uh, Keel passed on it, and I brought it to the Pantera guys, and they loved it. Fantastic. So, uh, now, I, somebody told me that, because I played rhythm guitar on that, and I also played a solo on another song on that album, there's only two guys that have ever recorded, ha, being, being a guest musician on a Pantera track, that's me and Kerry King. So I guess I'm in pretty good company. That's a great story. So, uh, I used to go um, hang out with the guys all the time. I stayed at Daryl's house many times. So you've been there where, you've, where oh. he's got his kiss oh, pinball yeah. machine. He's got two yeah. of them. Unfortunately, I was also at the service for him, too. Uh, that, that was a very moving experience. And Eddie Van Halen's Eddie guitar. was there. I was sitting. I was sitting. Eddie, actually, Eddie was here, and Zach Wilde was behind me, and then they were, like, throwing spitballs at each other and stuff. It was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah was, I think yeah. Eddie gave him the uh, guitar that's on the cover of uh, Van yeah. Halen too. From what yeah. I, yeah. And it got buried with him. He got buried with him. And you said you're going to have your guitar buried with you. And that's actually in my will. Is that my 1968 Gibson Les Paul uh, goes with me? So uh, the the. But I don't want to be an immortal quite yet. I got a few years well, to go. No, but this is kind of the theme of this book that has the guitars of a lot of legends that have passed on, like BB King and. Bo Diddley and John Lennon's J160E bed in guitar will be featured in this book. And so it's like the music that is immortalized by the guitar that was, these artists use to create the music on. The songs are immortalized by these guitars that remain behind. And it's interesting that some guys want to take that with them to the grave too. Taking your well, music and your, and your I got I gotta have something to play in the afterlife. It might as well be that one, right? Gotta have something to play on, on the Sky other side. Is the neighborhood. Yeah, you're already booking gigs on the other <laughs> side. He's such an entrepreneur. I got some gigs booked on the other side. Looking forward, <laughs> far reach. <laughs> you're a forward thinker, Mark. Yeah. Always have been. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Thanks for coming by again. Of, we of, really appreciate of it. Of course. Thanks, man. Thanks for sharing that uh, dime story.